speed. Yeah, this is about speed, and it's also known as velocity. So when you take higher level science -y classes, you'll hear them talking about velocity, and velocity and speed are kind of the same thing, except for speed, it doesn't tell you which direction you're going in. It just tells you you're going fast or slow. Velocity will tell you whether you're going right or left, for instance. It'll give you a direction. And the formula for speed is going to be speed is equal to the distance traveled divided by the time taken. So in a sense, speed is going to be equal to the distance divided by the time. Or we can see it as speed is equal distance divided by time. And more often than not, you're going to see it with a V in the formula, because I did say it's also known as velocity, and a lot of the formulas will use V. But to keep it simple for us, we'll look at speed as speed. Now there's a trick to solving with these to help make it easy, and what you have to do is actually take this bit here and put it into what we call a little formula triangle here for a shortcut. And I want you to think about what's the top thing in this triangle going to be here? I need three different letters in here, an S, a D, and a T. And the very, very top number, I want you to think about it being the top one in the fraction, so that's going to be the D because D is on top of the fraction, and then below the fraction is the T, and S is where we start. So S, D, T. S is equal to distance divided by time, S, D, T, every time. And the next thing that you can do in here is think about putting in little shortcuts for yourself, and we'll apply these in one second, but you're going to times along. So if you have an S and a T, you're going to times them together. And if you're going from top to bottom, you're going to do some division. So you can draw in some division signs for you. D divided by S or D divided by T. And we'll take a look at how to use this formula trick here, this little triangle trick. What happens is that you want to read the problem, figure out what you've been given, and figure out what you want. And then I want you to cover up what you're looking to solve for with your finger on the triangle. And once we've done that, we can times along the bottom, or make a fraction and divide top to bottom depending on what we're looking for. So, Kelly rides her bike five kilometers to her distance house, to her friend's house. So five kilometers, that's d is equal to five, that's my distance. She bikes at 12 kilometers per hour, well that's a speed. You might think about being in your car and your parents are driving it at 50 kilometers per hour. So 12 here, this is the speed is equal to 12. How long did it take? Did the ride take her? So how long? Well, that's saying the time. I want to know time. So what we do on our little triangle, a speed, distance, time, is we cover up the time with our finger. I'm just going to cover it up with some pen because I can't show you my finger. But you put your finger right on top of it, and you'll notice that what's left is D and S. And what I want to say then is that the time is equal to if it's a top and bottom, you want to make a fraction out of it, and no matter what, whether you're looking with the D over the S or the D over the T, the D is always on top. It's top of the triangle, should be top of the fraction all the time, so we would say D divided by S. So my time is going to be equal to the distance divided by the speed. So in this case, time is equal to, the distance is 5, divided by the speed is equal to the time. So 5 divided by 12 gets me 0 0.4166 recurring. And that doesn't make a lot of sense. How long did it take her? 0.4166. But remember, this is kilometers per hour, and that's telling us how many hours it took her. So it took her 0.4 of an hour, which is not that exciting. But if you want to think about converting that to minutes, it makes more sense we would go 0 0.4166 reoccurring and times it by 60 because I want to go from hours into a smaller unit of minutes so I'm going to times it up and that's 25 minutes. But Again, the more important part of this because you could leave it in the hours here if you want because I haven't asked specifically for it in minutes is that I've covered up what I'm looking for, the time and then I put the distance divided by the speed. So the distance was 5, and then I divide by the speed. And that gets me the number of hours. Looking at the next example. Gonzo shoots himself out of a rocket at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. 
How far will he fly in two and a half hours? So let's assume his speed stays the same. How far will he fly in two and a half hours? So here, 120, that's my speed. In two and a half hours, well, what's that? That's the time. So I know time is equal to 2.5, two and a half. How far? That's the D. That's what we're looking for. So if you drop your little triangle again, think about covering up the one you kn that you're looking for. And here I'm looking for distance, so I'm going to cover it up. And I'm left with S and T. And I already told you that if you're going along the bottom, you're going to times. We always have that time sign between the two. So that's S times D, so S times T. So here, distance is going to be equal to S times the T. So the distance he travels will be equal to the speed, 120, times the time of 2.5, and that's going to be equal to 300 kilometers. So in a two and a half hours, traveling at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour, he's going to travel 300 kilometers. Sparky. Barks at our friend Lulu across the valley. Now Lulu is 500 meters away from Sparky. 500 meters away, 500 meters, that's a distance, so I know here that D is equal to 500. She's 500 meters away from Sparky, and it takes 1.5 seconds. 1.5 seconds. This is a time, so time is equal to 1.5. Seconds for Sparky's bark to reach her. How fast? Well, fast, that's our speed, that's what we're looking for. Was the sound of Sparky's bark traveling? So I'll go with my triangle again, S, D, T. Cover up the speed, because that's the one I'm looking for. And here I need to know the distance divided by the time, because I see it kind of looks like a fraction, one thing on top of the other. Speed is going to be equal to distance divided by the time. In this case, that's 500 divided by 1.5. That's 500 meters divided by 1.5 seconds. So 500 meters divided by 1.5 seconds gets us 333.33 reoccurring meters per second. So Sparky's bark is traveling at 333 meters per second, which is actually the average speed for sound. So sound, when I shout out, takes about 330 seconds, or th will travel about 330 meters a second. So there we go. Keep in mind you've got to set up your triangle every single time correctly, that it's speed, distance, and then time. Distance always on top. And then if you cover up what you're looking for, you'll times across the bottom, if you've got those, to figure out what distance is. Or you cover up something like time, and you're going to always put the distance on top divided by speed. Or like in this last example, the distance on top divided by time. And that will give you the speed. So again, across the bottom we times and top to bottom, we divide. And that formula should help you get through it. So read the questions carefully, figure out what information you've got, label it as distance, time, or speed, cover up what you want, and write out the formula you need to calculate.